my depression is insane. Um, you know, it's difficult to get out of bed. It's difficult to function. Um, but for me, depression has always been about numbness. It's always been about not being able to feel positive or good things. And I'm just going to be honest with you, even the best things in life that used to fill me with absolute incredible pleasure, uh, you know, traveling to VidCon and, and, and meeting fans or, or you know, eating a delicious piece of food used to be one of my favorites was something I can't do anymore. Or, or playing video games or spending time with family or friends or even spending time with my dog. They do little to nothing when it comes to turn to, to joy. Boogie, it's time to get help, man. What is up, everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And this is a video where I'm going to talk in a couple different ways. I'm gonna be talking to you, the audience, but mainly, I really hope that Boogie2988 sees this video, especially because I just watched his video about how he just hit his mental health rock bottom. I'm gonna link it down in the description below if you wanna check it out. But like I just said in my last video, the one of the reasons that I talk about other YouTubers and their videos and things like that is so some of you can learn and maybe improve your mental health and learn from maybe their mistakes or their experience and things like that. So for those of you unfamiliar with Boogie's story, he's He's a, he's a big YouTuber, he has like four and a half million subscribers. I've been following him for about a year since I came on the platform. And I think I learned about him through uh, Philip DeFranco and I've, I've been following him ever since. And basically he got weight loss surgery. He's down a lot of weight without him even knowing it. I'm kind of in a competition with him. That's why I've been hitting the gym and dieting. and I'm kind of keeping track. But other, other than that, he recently went through a divorce. Uh, he was married to his wife for a while, for years. So he recently went through a divorce, but he also struggled with uh, childhood trauma. And I did a video about the adverse childhood experiences test. If you want, I will link it up there in the uh, info card if you want to check it out. But he's struggled with a lot of childhood abuse. And today he made a video that just broke my heart and he was talking about his mental health rock bottom. And like, I can relate. I can definitely relate. The What he's talking about a lot in this video is the numbness. The numbness and not feeling joy, not feeling pleasure, like, mm, man, I can definitely relate to that. I just felt dead inside and I would try everything. I tried everything to try to cheer myself up and he mentions fake it till you make it, I tried that. and. Boogie has talked about his mental health for a while. He talks about it more on Twitter and I guess on his Twitch stream, which I haven't watched yet. But like, I've been watching him and stuff and like, I'm going to assume. A lot of this video is about assumptions, but based on what I've seen, I'm like, dude, get some help. Get some help. Man, like Boogie talked about in his recent video how he's been hospitalized and he's been to a mental health treatment center, uh, or maybe it was just, you know, a 24 hour or 72 hour hold for uh, su suicidal ideation and things like that. And like, man, whenever I watch his videos, like, there's a reason why I always start off my videos with, we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And like, man, like Boogie, if you're watching this, I see you talking about the problem so much. I'm just like, where's the solution? Where's the solution? Now in his new video, he talked about how when he was going through his divorce and hitting this kind of like downward spiral of his mental health, he was on Reddit a lot and 4chan and things like that. And like, it was worsening his depression. And like, yes, like he talks about the solution of not going on there when he's in a dark place. Yes. Yes, good, 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 good. But like, man, you gotta go get professional help, professional help. So a lot of you out there who are my subscribers, I understand some of you don't have health care, Some of you don't have mental health care. Some of you don't have the funds to use like better help online therapy or see a therapist or a psychiatrist, but Boogie, you got the money, you got the funds. So if you're not seeing a mental health professional, you need to, you definitely have the funds. Now here's the thing. Um, I know he's talked about this before and I get this a lot. I get this a lot from people struggling with their mental health. They said, I already tried that. I've tried antidepressants, I've tried therapy, I've tried psychiatry, I've tried these things. You need to remember that you can't just put away like one of the things you tried and never revisit again. We are constantly changing, we are constantly evolving. Our brain, there's a science called neuroplasticity. Our brain is constantly changing. So if therapy didn't work for you in your 20s or 30s, it might work now. If uh, antidepressants didn't work for you in your 20s or 30s, it might work now. And it maybe it didn't work one year, but the next year it will. Or you need to find the right therapist, or you need to right, find the right psychiatrist who can uh, help you diagnose what's going on and help give you coping 
tools. Like one of the reasons I assume that Boogie is not seeing a therapist or a psychiatrist is because whenever he makes these mental health videos, he never discusses what <clears throat> he talked about in therapy or what he talked about with his psychiatrist. He never talks about different coping tools that he's using. He never talks about what he writes down or uh, anything like that. So I think it's a safe assumption, but if he ever watches this, feel free to prove me wrong. But I, I can tell that he's not using any kind of coping tools, but he mentions like, okay, so I'm just gonna not read these things. Like, that's great, that's a great start, but there's so much more that we have to do for our mental health. And I will do my best to relate it to your physical health, Boogie. So because of your gastric bypass surgery, you're going to have to keep up with your physical health. You gotta keep watching what you eat. You're gonna have to keep being mobile. You're gonna keep having to go to the gym and all these things. Same thing with our mental health. This is a daily thing, daily thing. And we have to make it our top priority or no matter how much weight we lose, no matter how many friends or family members who love us, no matter how much of that we have, our mental health will still be messed up. So we have to constantly be working on our mental health through scientifically proven methods. And some of these are evidence-based treatment, uh, evidence-based therapy but and also if you have the financial resources man go to a 30-day treatment center not just like a psych ward or anything like that a 30-day mental health treatment center all right but anyways like man this is just a plea to boogie like man go get some help i know you can do this and like this video isn't meant to be malicious or anything i hope it's inspiring and motivational like i was in that place and i've been back to that place and i've gotten out of it i know so many people who have done it too and i know you can too and same thing with anybody else watching this video who might be able to relate to Boogie's experience, never give up hope, all right? But anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental and emotional well-being. Click that little round subscribe button. And a big, big, big thank you to everybody supporting the channel on Patreon. And if you would like to support my message of spreading hope, please click or tap on that Patreon icon right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. Go get some help, and I'll see you next time.